with and again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord. Race and again I say rejoice. Again I say rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Augustine is to say, Our hearts are made for you, Lord, and they are restless until they rest in you. And it's very true, until God rests into our hearts, we cannot have peace. And the heart is always a place where God wants to dwell. As today's gospel will highlight of God having an intention to dwell into our hearts. Have I have a place for Him? As we partake in this Eucharist celebration, let's ask the grace that we may keep a place for God into our heart. And for the many a times we have given for the worldly, the first preference into our hearts and we have not kept a place for God. I feel sorry for this and ask the Lord's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that we and that what we revive in remembrance, we may always hold to you in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brethren, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And when Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. Then 
it seemed good to the apostles and the elders with the whole church to choose men from among them and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas called Barsabbas and Silas, leading men among the brethren with the following letter. The brethren, both the apostles and the elders, to the brethren who are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, greeting. Since we have heard that some persons from us have troubled you with words, unsettling your minds, although we gave them no instructions, it has seemed good to us in assembly to choose men and send them to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth. For it has seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols, and from blood, and from what is strangled, and from unchastity. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. The word of the Lord. For the psalm, let a response be, Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Please repeat. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. A response, let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. A response, let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing. Till the ends of the earth revere him. A response. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In the spirit, the angel carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, its radiance like a most rare jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and on the gates, the names of the 12 tribes of the sons of Israel were inscribed. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations. And on them, the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. And I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine upon it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please stand for the acclamation. Alleluia. said, If a man loves me, he will keep my word, 
and my father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If a man loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you, while I am still with you. But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you, not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I go away and I will come to you if you loved me. You will have rejoiced because I go to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, a story is told of a violinist who went to perform for the first time on the stage. When he came on the stage and performed for the first time, the first piece, all the people gave him a standing ovation. The violinist looked into the crowd, went back, came again, played a second piece. People still were happy with his second piece, still they gave him a standing ovation. But the violinist looked into the crowd, went back, came for the third time. Like this, he f did it for four or five times. And on the sixth time when he came, he played, he performed, he saw in the crowd and he went back and he didn't come back. So the reporters just were waiting outside the dressing room to get a word from this violinist. And when he came out, the reporter asked him, why did you perform for the sixth time? It was just enough for the first time when you perform, the people gave you a standing ovation. It was a beautiful, why did you do it for six times? And the violin said, when I played for the first time, when the people gave me a standing ovation, I looked into the crowd and there my master was sitting there. And he was the one who was just sitting, not even clapping, applauding me. So I knew that I have not pleased my master. I went and played for the first, second time. Still he was sitting down. Third time I played, still he was sitting down. But when I played for the sixth time, the sixth time I saw my master standing and clapping with the cloud. That was, I found that I pleased my master by playing the way he liked it. My dear brothers and sisters, do we please our master? Do our master is happy with us? We need to ask this question to do us because we need to ask to ourselves, do I, the way I live my Christian life, is my master happy with me? Or do I have a place in my heart for the Trinity to come and dwell so that the life of Trinity, the divine life, may be reflected to my words and to my deeds? These things we need to ask today. And the gospel today throws a beautiful light on this God's dwelling into our heart. He wants to dwell into our hearts and he'll come only if we obey and if we keep the word if you look into the bible the bible is a beautiful story of god's wanting to dwell with the people and we can find the perfect dwelling of god in the garden of eden 
with Adam and Eve, God was dwelling with them. He was talking with them. He was walking with them in the garden. Such a lovely atmosphere was in the garden of Gethsemane. Sorry, garden of Eden. Before the sin entered and disrupted all their unity. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, the sin is the main cause today to divide each one of us from the God. And, but God did not leave the people. All the people sin and they went away from God. God was with the people. Every time he was moving with the people of Israel, either in the pillar of crowd, in the fire, in the form of a fire, with his prophets, he was constantly reminding the people about his pres presence among them. And we find the real presence of Christ, the God's dwelling, when Jesus Christ came in, comes into the world. And he not only gave his own body and flesh forever to dwell into our hearts, but he kept us the Holy Spirit so that we can always remain with him. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to ask ourselves, God wants to dwell into my heart too. Do I have a place for him? Do I give him the priority in my life so that he can come and stay with us? God's presence is always there for us only if we love him and keep his word. What do I mean by loving? When we say we love other person, there is no compromise, sorry, there are no conditions. God will be the first preference in my life, nothing else. As I get up early in the morning, what is my first preference? Is it mobile? that I look out for, to search for the messages? Is it the things that I'm going to do? Or am I waiting for the coffee to come near my table? Or I get up and thank the Lord for the beautiful night He has given me, peaceful sleep that He's given me. The first preface in our life. Loving Him means to give all the, to keep God as the center of my life. My thoughts, my words, my deeds should come from the Lord, my words, the words of blessing, God bless you, good morning. It's a beautiful verse we need to utter our, our, into our life only when this is possible, when God dwells into my heart and my whole thing should be centered on Christ and I should long for Christ. That is where we can really show that we love Him. By keeping His word, I mean to say following His commandments. The Lord has given so many commandments for us and the last commandment that he has given to us that love each other as I have loved you. My dear brothers and sisters, we are restless. Many times in our life we find restless people with little patience. Why? Because the King of Peace, the Lord is not residing in my house. And since he's not residing, there's no peace within me. And I keep on talking ill of others, doing bad things of others. So let us ask the Lord, let us give him the place so that he may enter into our hearts, that we may find peace to make this world a better place to live in. Kindly rise. Let's all together profess the faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Holy Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. Our hearts are made for God. And when He dwells into our heart, we can live a very peaceful life. Let us ask the grace that we may give God a space into our hearts by placing our petitions to the Lord. Your response, Lord, may the Holy Spirit be our guide. Lord, may the Holy Spirit for the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that matters of importance may be resolved through dialogue and discussion, as Pope Francis has done, regarding the family with the papal 
encyclical, Amoris Laetitia. We pray. Lord, Lord may, may the Holy Spirit, Spirit be our guide. For the church, which is a gathering of believers, that they may imitate Jesus, their master, who through words and deeds sought to ease the suffering of the people. We pray. Lord, Lord, Lord may, may the Holy Spirit, Spirit be our guide. guide. For religious freedom and harmony, that as religion is the cause of many conflicts in the world, in the world religious leaders and heads may exhort the people not to fight and kill in the name of God. We pray. Lord, Lord may, may the Holy Spirit, Spirit be our guide. That as the early Christian leaders resolved the important issues regarding the criteria of admission of the Gentiles to Christianity, the churchmen and women of today may resolve issues regarding parishes and dioceses through dialogue. We pray. Lord, Lord may, may the Holy Spirit, Spirit be our guide. For all of us present in this Eucharistic assembly, that enlightened by the word of God, we may wait for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which is the Father's gift to us. We pray. Lord, may the Holy Spirit be our guide. Pray for personal and community needs. Your response. Lord, Lord, Lord may, may the Holy Spirit, Spirit be our guide. Right. Heavenly Father, you have promised us to come and stay into our hearts if only we love and keep your word. May these petitions be a inspiration for us as we place before them so that we may always give you a space and the Holy Spirit may guide us to always lead a good life in, our, in this world. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. B28, page 74. B28, page 74. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this prayer we offer through of the earth. Pray, my brother and sister, mine in your sacrifice may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in each time above all to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his blood, he brought the sacrifice of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by com commending himself to, to you for our salvation showed himself the priest, the altar and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is 
is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed, and entering in this passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Nari, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. A new day, quit all is peccata mundis, misere nobis. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. X17, page 358. X17, page 358. With the song in our hearts, we shall go on our way to bring God's love to everyone we meet today. Love, love, love is His name. The song in our hearts we shall go on our way to bring God's love to everyone we meet today. Peace, peace, peace is his name. Great, great, great is his name. With the song in our hearts we shall go on our way to bring God's love.